the next few videos, I'll go through some component composition patterns, and today I'll talk about higher order components. So, a higher order component is actually a function that accepts a component as parameter and then returns an augmented version of this original component. You can use it for doing things like messing with the original past props, inspecting them, or even changing them. You can also do something called render hijacking, which means rendering something else entirely instead of rendering the original component. Let me show you a few examples of how this can be useful. This is the sample application I'm going to use. It's a contact list. There's a contact app component. It expects a list of contacts as props with this very specific shape. It renders two other components, a contact list that shows the actual names and emails, and also a search bar that lets the user filter the results. There's also this main app component. It does the actual work of fetching data. I'm fetching some random user information from randomuser.me. It then maps over this uh, data and feeds it into the contact app component. Let me open the browser here. So here it is. Uh, you can see the list of contacts with their names and emails. I can filter the contact list. Uh, but when I refresh the page, you can see that there's this small amount of time where there's a blank page. And what I want to do here is I want to show a loading indicator for a better user experience. Well, I could obviously add this loading indicator on the contact app component. That's what one would normally do. But instead, I'm going to create a high order component for dealing with these loading indicators in a generic way. Uh, so I'm going to create a folder here, HOC. I'm going to create a new file. Remember that in the beginning, I said that a higher order component is actually a function. So const loader higher order component, it will accept a component as parameter and then it's going to return a new React component. Now, you could return a functional component or you could return a component created with react.create class. I'm going to actually return a class-based component. So I'm going to import not only React, but component from React, okay. And then I'm going to export loader HOC, extends component. Oh, I forgot class here. Cool. Now I'm going to export this. In the render method, instead of rendering back directly the wrapped component, I will first check to see if the contacts prop is empty. So this dot props dot contact dot length equals zero. If it is empty, I will render a div instead. Uh, let me throw a class name of loader here. Otherwise, I'll just render back the original wrapped component. But since I'm receiving the props that were originally destined to the wrapped component, I also need to pass them along. I'll do this using the spread operator. So here it is. Oh, of course, I need to return this. Uh, I actually have a CSS file already that displays an animated spinning wheel. So I'll create a new CSS file here, uh, loader hoc.css, and I'll just paste the code. Let me check to see if the class names match. Okay, great. I'll just import the actual CSS file here. Now, our basic high order component is ready. So let me get back to the contact app component to use it here. Okay, I'll import it. Uh, and the idea is that instead of returning the contact app class like we were doing, I will wrap it into our higher order component before exporting it like making the function call here. Okay, let's try now. Yay, it works. An interesting tip here. JavaScript has a proposed new feature called Decorator. Decorators lets us use high order components in a different way. But right now, this is just an idea that's being actively discussed. So it's not available on any browsers yet. If you want to try it, you'll have to check how to get it working for your development environment. If you use Babel, take a look at the show notes and I'll point you where to look at it. Anyway, I already have the creator set up on my environment, so instead of using the high order component as a function, 
I can just use it like this. See, the idea behind the name is that it decorates the class name. So, let me try again. Awesome, still working. So, to recap, higher order components are useful for encapsulating behavior that you might want to reuse across different components. Well, of course, my own example here is not very usable. It specifically checks for a hard coded prop named contacts. Not so bright. So, next, let's make this reusable by having this prop name configurable. Well, the first thought would be to just add an additional parameter here with the prop name. But while this will work as a function call, it won't work as a decorator. The alternative here is creating a curried version of our function, which will work for both cases. A curried function is a function that receives one single parameter at a time, returning a new function that accepts another single parameter until all of the parameters are provided. In our case, I'll receive prop name first and then the wrapped component. Now, instead of looking for this hard-coded contacts prop, I'll just use whatever prop name was provided. I also won't assume that this is an array object with a length, so instead I'll create an auxiliary method called isEmpty. And I'll make some assumptions here of whether this prop is empty or not. So, for example, if it's null or undefined, I'll assume it's empty. I'm gonna also check for the length property, and if length is zero, I'll also assume it's empty. And just for the sake of this example, I'll also check if it's an object, but an object with no keys. I will update the render method, but it still works pretty much the same way. If the prop is empty, it shows a div with a loader class, otherwise it shows the originally wrapped component. So, on our contact app, I need to update the function call here. So passing contacts first, and it works, great. Or calling it as a decorator, like this. Perfect, we just created a reusable higher order component. Now, before I finish, I'd like to take a few more minutes to talk about props. Remember that the higher order component has access to the props that were originally destined to the wrapped component, so we can mess with them before the wrapped component gets them. To exemplify, I'll add a new prop. Could be anything, I'll just calculate the loading time and throw it in. Now, I will calculate the loading time in a quick and dirty way, just for testing. I'll set on component did mount a start time local property and on component will update an end time local property. On the render method, I'll create an object that will contain my additional props. I'll define a load time key and calculate the value this.endTime minus this.startTime. I'll divide by a thousand to have the value in seconds, have a fixed number of decimals here. Finally, I add my custom props to the wrapped component using the spread operator. Now, back to the contact app component. Because it's being augmented by the loading higher order component, I should expect to receive a load time prop, so I'll declare it here on my prop types. In the render method, I'll just display it as a paragraph here after the contact list. Let's try it, and here it is. You just watched the very first React cast. This was just a test, a sample. So if you like it and you want me to continue creating new episodes, please like or add a comment below. Thanks for watching.